Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we are going to be taking a look at something really awesome, and that is a bunch of hidden activation devices, because quite simply, a lot of you guys have been requesting them. I do a hell of a lot of tutorials on secret builds, for example, secret entrances, or hidden chests, but none of you have ways to activate them, and I always get questions about it, so I thought I would do a video summarising a couple of designs that I really like, so that you can use them as well. Starting from 1 to 3, let's get straight on with it. Now the first thing that we are going to be taking a look at today, I have showcased a couple of times on this channel, but that is because it is so bloody useful, it's one of the best tweaks to know in Minecraft. So we just walk up here, and we hit this, and you can see our lights turn on, and then we hit it again, and the lights turn off. Now that may have blown a couple of your minds if you haven't seen this before, it actually uses a little trick using stairs. So we turn this stair here and the hitbox doesn't update yet there is in fact block texture there so we can actually click right on through this stair and activate the lever. Now not only does this work for levers it also works for crafting benches or chests or pretty much whatever you can shake your stick at. For anyone that is still confused as to how this works I will quickly do a demonstration of how to build it. So you want two blocks there you want one stair like this and one stair like that. So you can see, if we take out this stair, there is a hole there and you can easily click through. Well, when we replace this stair, the hitbox doesn't change, but there is, of course, that block texture there, as I just explained. But anyway, now you just place a block with a lever there and then some redstone dust down at the bottom. And bada bing, bada boom, you have got yourself a hidden lever. You can see, when we click right on through, that lever will go down. And when we click again, the lever will pop back up. Nice and easy. This second build is known as a redstone torch key and it pretty much does what it says on the tin. They have been around for absolutely ages, I myself built one about a year and a half ago now and they work very simply, you just place down a redstone torch and it will get destroyed whilst also giving off a redstone output that you can then hook up to some form of shady device. So let's take a closer look on how to build it. The interesting thing about this design is that it consists only of pistons, there isn't any redstone involved apart from of course the giant redstone blocks here but yeah we place down the redstone torch and you can see we get our output through this repeater that is just an output to show that it is actually coming out you could take an output from any of these places but it's very simple to build just one wide there isn't any hidden redstone so you should be able to copy it from there another cool thing about this design is that it gives off a one tick pulse which means that you can use it in a T flip flop. Now for anyone that doesn't know what a T flip flop is, it gives a constant output rather than a pulse. So you can see using this repeater as an example, when we place down our redstone torch, it's on, and when we place it down again, it turns back off. Now that is really useful for anyone who wants to build this for a door or something. The last design that we're going to be taking a look at today is known as the furnace lock or the cooking thing. I don't know really what to call it, however, it does have some very useful functionality. If you were to throw any old item into here, it will just get smelted, come out, and it would all be fine. You can pick up your items as if it wasn't anything special. However, if you were to put a very specific item, for example, redstone ore, it would be smelted, and then the redstone dust would be picked up by a hopper, go through a system, and give you a redstone output, which of course you can use to activate pretty much anything. So it really is quite easy to do. So let's take a look at how to build it. So you want to get things started with a 3x3 area and you want to go two blocks up like this with your furnace and place it down like that. Then put a block here and run that hopper into it and then a hopper running off in this direction into a chest. This is where all of the items are going to go to, all of the ones that go through the system. Now for the actual item sorter part, you just want to place a block with a comparator there a block here and then a block up like that, redstone dust on top of both of these here and then redstone torch with more redstone dust. Now the last thing that you have got to do is fill up this item hopper with 22 of the specific item that you want to go through the system. Just fill up all of the spaces and then place it down like that and that should be ready to go. So now you should see if we place down a piece of redstone ore in here it gets smelted and then the redstone goes into there it will finally go through into the hopper and activate the system which means that you will get an output which I guess you could take from here or anywhere else in the system. 
But unfortunately, that is all I've got time for for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Quick and Easy. If you can think of anything else you want me to do these videos on, then head down to the comment section and put your opinion. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Thank you.